Good morning, everyone. How are you going? Um, Natalie here. Sorry, it's Sunday, so I um, haven't done my hair. It's early. Well, it's not early. It's like 11 o'clock here, but that's okay. Um, so today is the last day of the picture to page craft show, the online show. So today I've got a few things on special. Um, and I'm going to do a little live Facebook in a minute, um, a little live demo in my junk journal and whip up a quick page. So um, I just thought I would show you a few things that are new in the studio that you may not know about and talk to you about the junk journals quickly. I'll just turn the camera around. So today on special, I have got 15% off. Of nope, and she's gone. Um, so 15% off junk journals, which are these guys here. So these are the gorgeous junk journals from Scrap Effects, and there's some really cool designs. So um, the photos online don't do them much justice, but these are really, really cool. And they've got these amazing cutouts as well. So um, I thought I've got a whole heap of these in stock, so I will put them on special. And you guys know that I use my junk journals in most of my, my lives, so... The other thing I have on special today is acrylic paint. So we are talking Dilutions paints, 15% off. Good range of colours here. And also the Dina Wakeley paints are also on special. So um, including the, the big tubes. Um, so over the last few days, um, it's been super busy in here, which is fantastic. But a couple of things that I don't know that you guys know that I actually have in stock. So I received a shipment a couple of days ago of Art by Marlene. So these are the brand new Art by Marlene paints. So she did a live demo over on the Picture to Page um, Facebook page a couple of days ago using these paints. So these have come in. So these are the sparkly and bright ones. And then I think I have also got here somewhere. Here we go. The fluoros as well. So they are absolutely gorgeous. I haven't cracked open a packet to have a play with them yet. Um, but yeah, they're really good. And they've got really big pans in them as well. You can see how big they are. The um, Ultra New Watercolours also came in. I did a bit of a swatching of these over on Instagram a couple of days ago, and they are really lovely. The Ultra New Big Blending Tools also arrived in stock, as well as Vicky Boot and Crayons. So there's three, pa three different colour packs of those. Um, the brand new Artsy Arabia packs as well. These are also in stock. So these are some beautiful die cuts from Art by Marlene. And there's two different styles in these. So this is, a, this is the die cut pack. And I also have the, and I haven't unpacked these, so let's just go and do that. Just bear with me a second while I, oh, this is classy, isn't it? Look at that. Can't do it with one hand, so stick it between your knees. Don't tell me that you wouldn't have done the same thing. Um, so these are the sticky quotes. So these have got some amazing quotes in them. And they're all stickers and they are absolutely gorgeous. Lots and lots of different fonts. Really, really clever. So they are also available. Um, what else came in? The Art by Marlene collage paper. So these are really good. These are two different sorts and they are really thin collage papers. So they came in this week um, and then there's also some kind of like a watercolour pad um, they came in. The other thing, oh, her new journals, I've got two of those left in stock. They walked out the door, oh my God. Um, and the, oh, these are the Minte books. These are all on special as well this weekend. Lots and lots of those in the cutout books. I may use one of those this afternoon. I'll see how, what sort of ideas I come up with for this afternoon's live Facebook. Um, trying to think what else I got in stock that I forgot to tell you about. Oh, with the Art by Marlene page, she's also done 12 by 12 papers 
and they are in a pack of four. I have put them into a pack of four, double-sided, heavy duty. They're pretty damn nice, actually. They're available. Um, oh, there was something else I wanted to show you this morning. What was it? It's gone. But, yes, yeah, so give you a bit of an idea. Here's my wall of Tim Holtz and tools. Lots and lots and lots of bits and pieces down there. Um, oh, the paper trimmers. I can't remember if I've shown you these or not. Hang on. These are the desk size guillotines. So not quite big enough for 12 by 12, but perfect for card makers and small trimming. They're available. That's the one that I use all of the time. Quite often see it in my um, lives. Oh, I wanted to show you my Christmas album. So I have done a Christmas mini album, a Christmas binder album, ready for those of you who, who love Christmassy things. Um, it is a kit that includes the binder and all the um, photos and information and papers that you need to make this mini album. So holds about 60 to 80 photos. Nice and generous. Lots of cool little flappy things. Um, the only thing that you need to add to it is photos and some white photo mats. The rest of it is all included in the kit. So these are available limited edition online at the moment as well. I will not be repeating this kit. So that's got the little pockets in there. Um, so there you go. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, today's special is the junk journals, which I'm about to work in, and also acrylic paint. So just bear with me a second, guys, while I pop pop the camera in the host, holster thingy. Turn off a light. Hang on. All right. And I'm just going to bring it up on screen so that I can make sure that I can see what you can see and I can see all of your questions. So how are we all this morning, this Sunday? It is a beautiful day here in Adelaide. I have got a full-on day planned. I have got lots and lots of kitting or lots of packing orders to do and lots of... Um, oh, now my iPad doesn't want to work. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, lots to do here and picking and packing all of your orders. So um, big day for me here in the studio. For those of you who joined me on my live Facebook last night, my Wine and Create, thank you for that. That was really fun. Um, created a couple of really nice pages, really quick and easy. And you'll be able to go back and watch that on my Facebook or I'll upload it to YouTube tonight. So Okay, let's turn the comments on. All right. So the junk journals are great. What the junk journals are from Scrap Effects are exactly that. They're just the they're junk journals. So they're assorted pages of music paper and um, book paper and graph paper, all of those sorts of bits and pieces. So um, I have been, and they come with the cotton thread as well when you're ready to bind it together. The one that I have been working in for quite a while is this one here, and I've covered it, covered the front with a piece of rice paper and have been, yeah, creating all sorts of bits and pieces in it um, when I've been doing my live demos. What I love about these is, is it's challenging me. It's challenging me to think about the surface that I'm working on and to... Um, make me step out of my comfort zone. So I, sorry, I'm just checking my cameras in the right spot there. Um, so yes, yeah, making me, my, making me step out of my comfort zone and try something a little bit different. Um, so this, this particular one here, I think is the lace book and it's got so the front um, cover here I've, is, an, is an envelope. Um, it's got these great little cut tags in it. This page, I think, is done on, I don't know, maybe an encyclopedia or a dictionary page. Uh, I've got some acetate in it, and I stuck one of my alcohol ink tags on there. Good morning, everyone. Um, 
And then, so this is what one of the die cut pages look like. So I'm looking forward to creating on that. Then it's got these great little cutouts as well. So there's some really fantastic ideas in here for creating pages. And I just think they're really, really clever. And most importantly, like I said, they, they, they stretch you just a little bit as well so that you can try something new. Um, this is the page that we did yesterday in the live with the, um, the new paper rose die. Um, that came up looking really nice with the flutter flakes, the, the gilding flakes there as well. So, um, so this is what, what I have started doing with mine. Um, haven't completely finished it yet. And there's another page, but I've started putting it together. So today I'm going to work in the limited edition one. So this is the new one that has just come out. It's a combination of lots of bits and pieces, including black paper, um, heavy denim, which will be interesting to work with. There's music paper. The die cut in this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Um, it's got some beautiful words written in there. And the other side of that has got that, that lovely cutout. Uh, what else has it got? It's got some heavy weight paper. It's got a paper bag, which is going to test me. Um, craft paper and a few other little bits and pieces. So I love that this work is all done for me because like, let's be honest, I'm probably not going to do it myself. Um, so that is what we're looking at there. Now... Oh, now the, sorry, I'm just making sure my screen here is up to date, which it is not today. Bear with me a second, guys. You know, one of those days where nothing is going to plan. Okay, there we go. Radio. Get your comments back up. So, I'm going to work in this one today and I'm going to be using some acrylic paint, do a little bit of stamping and collaging and I might just keep it super simple and work on these two pages here. So what I'm going to do for ease is remove all of these bits, pop them aside and work here and here. So I'm just gonna go super simple. Now with these, because it is a loose leaf and I'm joining these two together, what I am going to do is find my tape. So you could use washi tape or masking tape for this, but I'm just gonna find my, I've got some Dina Wakely tape here, and I'm going to tape, tape it together so that the page doesn't move while I'm creating. Now, if you have any questions, please pop them in the comments and hopefully they will pop up. Oh, technology me this morning. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, they'll pop up in my feed and I'll be able to glance over and have a bit of a look at them. All right, so this is what I'm going to work on today. Just with acrylic paint, some Dina Wakely stamps, a little bit of collaging. Um, I'm gonna pop some baking paper in the background. Um, of this page to keep my work surface semi tidy and that the pages. Oh, is that um, as long as is it my feed, Fiona, that's giving you trouble, or is it just your Facebook in general was having a um, a moment today? What's what's going on? Is everybody else okay with their um, Facebook feed this morning? Still trying to finish my coffee, sorry. Okay, so what I might do is I'm going to start with just a little bit of collaging in the background first using tissue paper and gel medium. Uh, the gel medium of choice um, is Impasto Gel Medium by Chromacoral. Uh, it's, it's probably one of my favorites to use at the moment and I've been using it for a couple of years actually more than a couple of years. Uh, pulled out some collage paper 
And I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Let's go with Let's go with the dots. So just going to be planting a little bit of it in the background and get a bit of that on as well. Good morning, Lisa. Thank you for your feedback, love. All right, so using gel medium to stick that on. So crack out a paintbrush, that one will do. And when I'm putting it on, I'm putting it straight down onto my card, onto my page first, and then layering my gel medium over the top of it just to stick it down. And then as you all know, I like to polish it off with my fingers because it takes off any excess and it helps with the drying time. Um, I'm going to pop a little bit up this way. I'm going to paint over all of this, but for the time being, I'm just keeping it simple. So gel medium is, of course, my, um, it's going to seal the paper as well, so it's not porous. Um, these two papers are both different surfaces, so they're going to take the paint differently, and whatever I put on is going to react differently. So... It's all about making sure that I've got consistency. I could gesso my page first, but I'm not going to do that because I can't be bothered. Um, so I'm just going to wing it here. Um, with my collage papers, I do like to make sure that it is anchored to something else. So it's joined at an edge rather than just being planted in the middle. Um, this, to me, makes it work better and it's more visually appealing. Um, and running the collage paper over the spine of my junk journal is going to make sure that it's got a bit more strength behind it as well. And again, polishing it off with my fingers to help with the drying time there. So, um, what else have I got? Don't need that bit. I might just pop. Now nah, stuff it. That'll do. Let's not overthink this. Okay. Make sure that you pop your brush into water immediately, or clean your brush, or because if, if you just throw it down on your desk, it will be absolutely revolting, and your brush will be um, stuffed because the glue will stick in it. So. Um, I'm not going to use any more gel medium for the time being. Pop the lid on that, pop it away. Yeah, it took me 15, 20 minutes this morning to clean up after last night's class. I just walked out of here and shut the door. And I probably should have taken like 10 minutes to, to clean up because it was a bloody mess. Um, <laughs> okay, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do today is I have pulled out some Dina Wakeley stamps that I have got and thrown half of them on the floor. Hang on. Um, and I want to add a figure on it. So this is the I Spill stamp set, and I'm liking this image. Um, I don't know, don't know exactly what I want to do. But, um, I'm thinking about putting putting it over the top, but I might lay some paint down first. Okay, so the colours I want to use today. Oh, let's go with, I've got blue in the background here, so I'm going to build on the blue. And I'm just going to stick with, oh my God, blue tones. And obviously this one is nearly empty. Um, what else have I got here? What paintbrush am I going to use? This one? Yeah, let's do this one. So I'm doing dry brushing. Dry brushing, of course, is allowing me to spread that colour out, spread it around, and it's not going on too thick. And that is important. I don't want it to be full on and thick. I'm keeping my strokes vertical, 
um, and making sure that I'm getting a, a nice, you know, spreading it around a bit. I'm not going to worry about cleaning my brush at all. I'm going to stick with cool tones today. I'm not going to mix these colours together. So this is the Dilusions Wisteria. This is as close to purple as you will ever see me use. After yesterday's little morning of um, creating where I put purple on my project and then regretted it instantly, I just remembered why I don't do it. <laughs> um, a little bit of this one is ocean. And because the colours are all together and they're all around the same sort of, like they're all from the same colour family, I love that if I layer them all up, I'm not going to be making a new colour because it is going to blend in quite nicely. But they're going to work well. I'm not going to muddy it up at all. Um, so I wouldn't add a red to this or a pink to this because I don't want to create a new colour. So I, I would tend to stick with these sorts of tones just to make it like I said visually appealing um, acrylic paint when it's dry of course you could layer it up but I don't want to do that today I want to keep it nice and simple and I don't mind that I've got big brush strokes here I quite like that um, I can dip it if I dip it in water if I make my brush quite wet I can make a puddle up here so let's add some of this to it this watery mess and it's just toned down tone tone the color down and this brush is quite a, a thick hard bristled brush as well so um, I don't think I cleaned it properly after I used it so it hasn't dried up nicely but I'm gonna add some white over in a moment too Now I'm just rinsing out my brush um, and I'm just going to dump it in water and get another brush because that's easier. Um, right, what's next? Good morning, Wendy. I lost a little bit of this colour here so I might just get a little bit of that on the top again because I quite like that. smoothing it out with my fingers just because I'm lazy and I haven't found a paintbrush. I do need to kind of put it in about three spots. That's just me being a little pedantic about balance. But I'm still going with those vertical those vertical strokes just to make sure that it does look balanced and, um, and even. So, um, and I'm just going to pop a little bit more of that wisteria on, but I'm not going to put it straight onto the page except for that drip. So the Dilusions paints are thinner than the Dina Wakely paints. Um, so it's important when you're using those that you realise if you're using them together that they have a a different they have a different consistency to them. So um, so just using a baby wipe to stamp, to wipe off any excess um, and create a bit of a pattern through there where I was a bit heavy handed with the purple tone paint or wisteria as we're going to call it because I don't like purple. So this, um, this is the stencil that I designed earlier this year, which is the um, all the dots stencil. And I think I need a bit more there. Oh, good. I'm glad that you got your parcel yesterday, Fiona. Um, Australia Post and you and I are not good friends at the moment, are they? 
definitely do without that in my life. All right, so. I think I want to put a bit of white on this. I think it needs a bit of a white balance. Um, do I use gesso or did I find my white paint? Okay, let's go for white paint this time instead of gesso, which is my normal go-to. I couldn't find my white paint yesterday, so I'll use it today. I've got the Dina Wakely one, which is a little bit heavier. So I did pick up originally the Dilutions one, but I wanted something a little heavier. So let's go with this one and a paintbrush that, there we go. So what I wanna do is I just wanna pop a bit of white over these areas here, and I'm just going to smooth it out with my fingers to take away any brush strokes. So if I don't have enough white space, I can create white space using the white paint. I think we all get a bit scared of white space. We feel like we have to cover up the whole page. Every now and again, I do exactly the same thing. Thing I think, oh, I have to cover the whole lot for, for maximum appeal, but I don't. I don't have to do that. And of course, this white paint is going over paint that's already dried. So majority of these blues and purples that I've put down have already dried because I'm dry brushing it on and I'm not adding a whole lot of water. Okay, so there we go. I'm kind of loving that. Let's not overthink it too much. And wipe the fingers. All right. So let's think about building up some stamped images in the background. Um, I might pop on... Have most of you got a good collection of Dina Wakely stamps in your collection? Do you... Um, do you... Do you use them? Um, you can see that I'm kind of going with this spotty sort of theme here, but I'm going to add in, just hindsight here, I'm going to add in some, some leafy bits. I think I might do that. Um, and what colour, what colour, what colour, what colour? Let's go with... I might go with something that pops a bit. So I'm not gonna steer too far away from the cool tones. So I think I might go with Peacock. Why are my paints all blocked today? There we go. You don't have any, Fiona. Are you joking, woman? Oh, look, I have to say, Dina Wakely stamps um, are probably up there in my favourite ones to use. Um, I, But that's my style of creating as well. Um, I do love the versatility of them. Um, I think that for me, personally, I love that they've got so much... Um, so much versatility and when you're creating, I mean, I need to be able to use them on, um, you know, use them on scrapbook pages as well as on art journal pages and cards. So, um, so what I've, what I've got here is marine, peacock and mineral. So I'm going to put some leaves across the bottom of my page and I'm going to start with my my middle color and get that on so using a blending tool I'm just going to dab it on to start with and I'm going to kind of mix these colors up I'm not going to so I'm going to add a little bit of this mineral on the edges as well um, 
and I've got just a small amount on my brush kind of mixing it up a bit so that the pattern is still there so over the top of this one I don't want to use a light color I need to use something a bit darker again I'm not cleaning my sponge in between because I'm using colors that are all from the same color family and then I can pop a little bit of that mineral in there for shading like that so this stencil that I'm using is one of my personal stencils that I designed and released again this year so um, these this is the branching out stencil it also comes with the masks so that you get the positive and the negative in the stencil as well um, which is what I thought was really really important with a design like this you want to be able to use it in more than one way and I'm not even putting any paint on this time I'm just going to take off whatever I've got on here and then I will add a bit more paint there we go So I do love that the paints are versatile. So mixing up the, the Dilutions paints and the Dina Wakely paints does work really well, but you do need to be aware that the consistency is different. So you know, like I mentioned before, the Dina Wakely paints are a much heavier bodied paint than what the Dilutions are. They're a lot more, Dilutions are a lot more fluid and they are a little bit more, I guess, they are looser, a bit runnier. So let me just do that. And I put the big blob on there, but then you can see I'm dabbing it all off so that it's not too thick on my sponge. I don't want it to be super, super duper thick on there. Um, and I could probably do with some more peacock or a lot of peacock, as the case may be. A little bit heavy handed on the paint squeezing out then. Good morning, Kerry Ann. How are you, darling? I feel like I'm a little bit a little bit slower this morning. I'm taking a little bit more kick starting. Don't know if it was the wine last night or not enough wine or too much wine or not quite sure what happened there. Um, this one here, was it that one or that one? That one. I've just found that it isn't deep enough. It just was too much, too similar to the one next to it. So I've just given it a little bit of extra. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna put this aside to dry because what I want to do next is, yes, you do have a note. Do you have a note for being late, do you, Terri I love that. Um, what I wanna do next is I wanna stamp onto a separate piece of paper um, and then I'm gonna cut that out. So the paper that I use at the moment for um, for stamping on is the Reeves Heavy Drawing Pad. Um, 25 sheets, not super expensive, but it's a really lovely 200 GSM paper. It's got a nice amount of weight to it. I tore off a piece earlier. Oh, here it is. Um, I tore off a piece earlier. It is a nice paper to stamp on. Um, and of course, you want to stamp with black archival ink. Um, now, I haven't decided, I don't exactly know which way I'm going to go here, so I might do a stamped image and then cut it out, or do I do... I told you I'm not organised this morning. I'm not quite there. I've got a bit of an idea in my head about what I want to do, but I haven't executed this bit in my head. So do I stamp first or do I paint first? 
you know what? Let's paint first and then stamp over the top. Great idea, Natalie. Why didn't I think of that? I need to, let me just clean this off a little bit. How do I clean my stencils? I get a couple of baby wipes and I sandwich it in between and just take off any excess paint that way, okay? I am a bit rough with mine and very lazy with my stencils. I do find that the acrylic paint's fine with it. It just um, dries on there and it doesn't transfer onto the next thing, but. Alrighty, let's pop that aside. Um, I haven't finished using that, so I'm not gonna completely wipe that up. All right, so I'm going to create something now that I want to paint onto and wow, just grab the first paint there and I don't quite know that I regret it just yet, but going for a thinner paintbrush now. And you can see that this is a, um, a much looser, thinner paint. So this is one of the di Dilusions colors, which is Strawberry Daiquiri. And I'm going something a lot brighter here. And straight on, of course. Now, where I've put too much paint on here, what I can also do is take my brayer and thin it out by doing that. And what happens with my brayer is that, yes, it thins it out and it creates a new pattern on there as well. Um, I think I want a bit of pink. So there's no reason why you have to use a paintbrush. Um, I'm going to spread it out to start with, with a paintbrush. And then I'm just gonna do a bit of that. A bit of this mineral here that I can move around. essentially just making my own piece of patterned paper here. And if you're not too sure if the paint, if the colour's going to work that you're putting on, try it off on the side so you don't have to commit to it being smack bang in the middle, which is exactly what I've done here. I wasn't 100% sure about adding in that marine, but Putting it on the side allows me to then play with it and move it around up there. Um, okay, so I've just made a little bit of a hot mess here, but beautiful. Baby wipe on my brayer. Quite an underestimated little tool is the brayer, I have to say. All right, oh, that didn't work, did it? Okay. So this is the ice spill um, stamp set. So this is one of Dina Wakeley's hand-drawn um, stamps and one that I haven't used yet. So let's just get into it. Um, acrylic block. There we go. So if I was doing this um, for a card or I, I quite often use a stamp press now for getting a nice solid image like this, but I haven't got, I'm not that organized this morning, as you can clearly tell. But I've got a nice inky black archival ink pad here and I'm really, really putting it on there just to make sure. And I'm gonna stamp it a few times 
so then I can then pick the one that I want. So the tip to stamping is to make sure that you have a nice hard surface. Underneath my white mat here, I have my um, glass mat. Hey, okay, not bad. I'll do a couple more. And I'm just gonna see if my big one is a bit inkier. So if I'm using my um, stamp press, well, that's better. Um, what I would do is maybe stamp it twice. And because it's a stamp press, you can use it in exactly, the, you can line it up and get it in exactly the same place. So, okay, so that's that one done. And because I'm really unsure, I'm gonna stamp the other image that I have here as well. I do have a bigger acrylic block that I would normally use, but I've got no idea where it is at the moment. And, yeah, okay. Holy O. All right, so I'm just going to quickly cut those out. So I've really enjoyed this weekend. It's been a really, really lovely couple of days um, creating for you. Um, as per normal, I haven't had too much of a plan when I create, but you kind of get the idea that, you know, it's not necessarily about what you create, um, it's about the process of doing it. So, um, as you all know, I love this industry and I love working and showing you guys new techniques and new ideas and reminding you of things that you didn't know yesterday, um, you know, or your things, reminding you of things you'd forgotten about, I should say. And, you know, showing you some new tips and tricks and putting ideas in your head. I think that that is the best part of what I do. Um, and sharing things around with you guys and sharing tips and ideas is just the highlight of my day. I wish I could spend all day on here doing this for you. Um, oops, sorry. But, you know, I can't do that. Um so thank you very much for your patience with tuning in and certainly thank you for coming over to use uh, to view me on the on my business page i do need to start using my business page more so make sure that you have liked it and that you follow and that way you won't miss out on any of the specials or any of the things that are coming up there's a couple of really cool things coming up um, and i will keep continuing to do my live facebook during the week where I'll talk about what's coming in or a new kit that I've done or just pop in to check in on, on you guys to see how you're all doing. So um, make sure that you um, have subscribed to that so that you are aware. Um, a couple of exciting things are happening here in at Natalie May Scrapbooking. Um, for those new people uh, who don't know me, this year, like everybody's, has been quite a whirlwind where I was planning on doing a tour of Australia doing craft shows and events with my little online shop and, and now I'm here. So um, I'm very, very grateful for your support. But my website is, you know, we're looking at getting it upgraded very shortly and making it a bit easier for you guys to navigate around um, and having a bit of a... Um, an upgrade there and uh, this will allow me more time to create more time to do this and you know show you guys some really cool stuff online so um, all right so the next thing I want to do is I want to add 
a little stamping to my background. This is all completely dry now. And I want to add some stamping using just simple marks. So I've pulled out some of my other Dina Wakeley stamps that you can tell are um, really, really used. Um, oh, thanks, Kayleen. I just saw you pop that up. Um, yeah, look, I do have this real just go for it attitude. Um, simply because life's too freaking short. We all know that. But you've, you've, you've just got to take a little bit of time for yourself. Try something new. Have a play. Do the things. I'm, I'm a firm believer in, in doing that. Um, I think that it is really important to do something for yourself and... And... Um, you know, use the things that you've got instead of hoarding them. Um, I think that that's, you know, really important. Um, I really have that non... I have the attitude of, you know, life's too short to freaking worry about all of the crap. Just, just get shit done, people. Just do it. Um, why think about it too much? That's what I think. Anyway, um, okay, so a little bit of stamping in the background there. Um, I've got my trusty little number stamp here. What I want to do with that is, I thought I'd left a blue ink pad out. Maybe not. Bugger. All right. So I'm doing one stamp. And then I am off stamping it to take it off the page. So that gives me this, gives me this shadowed, shadowed look. So that's the first one, which is the, the strongest ink. And then I go into the lighter one there. So it's really important to not ink every single time. So there's the first one. And then I take it off the page with the lighter one. And it just gives me... You know, it creates that shadow in the background. So, um, <laughs> the never-ending lockdown, I know it's a bit like that, isn't it? I really feel for you guys in Victoria um, who will have the wind taken out of you um, throughout all of this. I think that it is quite, a, um, quite an adventure for all of you for sure. So... Um, okay, let's think about what else I'm going to do. So with my images, I want to create a bit of a, a silhouette thing going on. I like this and I also like this, but why can't I use... Can I use them all together? Oh, ooh. All right, that's okay. Maybe that one needs to go at the back. Which one do I like more? Let's create a bit of a crowd going on here, hey? You know what? And look at me go. Now I'm thinking about it too freaking much. So I'm going to pull out my gel medium. Yeah, they did come up looking quite nice. So there's no reason why you can't create that background paper. Um, you know, it could have been a gel print. It could have been a, a scrap from something else. Um, paint over the top. Uh, sorry, stamp over the top. And I don't mind if there's a little bit of white in here because the white is balancing out everywhere else as well. Um, and then I usually, like, as you know, I let it overlap over the edge of the page and then I'll come back and trim off any excess. It's 
kind of just like this little crowd going on here now. So, and then I will stick this one or this one. I think this one's a bit brighter, so we'll get rid of that. And I can't do the four, it has to be three. So the other thing that I could have done is I could have hinged them as well so that they, you know, folded up and I might take her a little higher. And in a minute, I'm going to add a few more bits and pieces. Let's just pop that in the water. Um, but I sh probably should have... I didn't really have enough scraps left over because I need some of this over on this side. So I'm just, just scabbing through my bin. Geez, I really did use up all of that paper, didn't I? Okay. Here's a good bit. Let's use that. One there. Just cutting out some little circles. One there. One there. So just an update on your orders. Um, I am flying solo this week, so I will be packing all of your orders tonight and into tomorrow. Um, and they will be doing, I'll be doing a trip to the post office uh, about three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And um, I'll get as much packed as I can, but I go through and I check every single order first and make sure everything's in it um, before I post. So it may come out to you on this, uh, they may get posted tomorrow or they may get posted Tuesday. I'm not too sure exactly what the plan is yet, but I will certainly endeavor to get them out as soon as possible. I've got quite a few orders here that need to be going, gone through. And Jessica's not here today with me. She's out with Max um, at, a, at an event. And um, Trevor is going to come out and give me a hand, much to his disgust, because he was planning on going fishing. So um, I've kind of ruined his day. But, you know, that's okay. That's what we do. Um, all right, I'm going to get this back on here. So these little circles that I've just cut out... Uh, are going to balance out that, that little bit of colour. Um, I'm one of those people that has to have a bit of balance on the page. So I'm going to gel medium these down um, around this corner here in a little bit of a bit of a cluster. Um, I'm not thinking about it too much, but I'm making sure that I've got that odds and evens thing going on making sure that it's an odd number. Um, and in a minute, I'm gonna be drawing around these with my Stabilo and framing them a little. <laughs> Lisa, you're gonna to add to your order. So Lisa, adding to your order is really easy. That's why I do the no judgment option. So all you have to do is pay for postage once. So, um, I am super aware that as soon as I tend to show something online, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there we go. Um, as soon as I show something online um, and I do a special each day, people, I might do a little bit off the side. Um, people tend to want to go back and purchase again. And I understand that and I appreciate that. Um, so I make sure that I look after you and um, and offer that, that option for you so that you can put all your orders together. I mean, I, I'm not going to post them today. That's not going to happen. So why can't you add to your order? It makes perfect sense. So for that whole massive one cent, um, you can do that. All right. So I have got Stabilo pencils here. For those of you who don't know about Stabilo pencils, let me just give you a quick demo while that gel medium is drying. Um... trying to find some scrap paper. 
pulling out of my rubbish bin. Look, here's a scrap from last night's live. So what a Stabilo is, it is a, um, a pen, uh, sorry, a pencil that can write on any surface. Um, so paper, glass, plastic and metal, and it is water soluble. So what that means is that it can reactivate. And what it also means is that it is permanent. So you need to work confidently and quite, um, you know, not fluff around, but you just kind of have to work. I'm just trying to find a paintbrush here now. Um, you need to make sure that you work, yeah, confidently and accurately with your um, pen, with your pencil. So this is the black. What I like about it is if I just do a circle, and I'm giving it a bit of pressure, admittedly, um, and then use some water, it stays black. A lot of other water-soluble pencils don't stay black. Like that is genuinely a solid black. And I don't, there's no um, pencil marks in there as well. So that's what the black does. Um, and yes, I can write on just about any surface. The This is the graphite. So the graphite is a lead pencil. But... It's a water soluble, so it gives a different sort of look, but it blends out really, really nicely. So um, this is a super porous paper, by the way. And then I've got the white. And the white does blend quite well too. So the other cool thing is that you can do is on a surface like this one here. So last night where I couldn't find any black ink, um, I just did a circle on my mat. Um, no, I just use, <laughs> here's my pencil sharpener that I use. It's like from, I don't know, office works or something. Um, yes, I should probably use a proper grown up pencil for it, but, um, but I don't. Oh, sorry, pencil sharpener, but I don't. Um, and then there's the white as well. So you can make a little puddle and use that too. So that's what the Stabilo pencil does. So for today's purposes, I'm going to use both of them. And I'm going to, or all three of them, I should say, um, and I'm going to go around my leaves and I'm going to go around my people. I'm going to do the people first. So a bit of a tip when you are doing this is to have some water handy. So whether it be um, whether it be a, a jar of water or what whatever your water well is. I'm just bringing mine a bit closer, sorry guys. Um, but what I can do is just go over this in a few areas and then activate that with my little droplet here and it's going to make the black more intense and it's going to give that sort of look that I have just drawn this rather than it being a stamp, which is essentially what we are all looking for in our journals. And you'll also notice I'm also touching a little bit of water into the tip um, of my uh, Stabilo, so there's no reason why I can't do that. And it creates a really nice shadow around the edges as well. So um, I'm going to do that on all of mine to darken up my make my blacks blacker over my stamping sorry over my paint because if you look at the image here it does need to be a lot darker so Dina Wakeley has actually drawn these images with this exact pencil with the Stabilo pencil this is her pencil of choice so I 
um, she introduced me to it about, I don't know, eight or nine years ago when I saw her in Melbourne and did classes with her in Melbourne. Um, and that is that has been my, my go-to. Back then, we couldn't even get them in Australia. Um, the pencil that I have been using is the one that I have... Um, that she gifted to me and then I've been able to find a supplier here so but now just emphasizing these marks and making it look like I've drawn that which is yeah what we're looking for so if I use the um, the graphite one I can use exactly the same but it creates a slightly different look to it it's got a bit more of a yeah well a lead pencil look um, and I'm now just being lazy by dipping into my little droplet here on my desk to do that with. Um, so with my circles up the top here, I'm going to sharpen that to get a nice tip. And go around the edge. And once I go around the edge, I'm just going to give, make my puddle a bit bigger here. You know what would have been good? Clean water. Far out. Okay, hang on. Now, you can't just draw a whole heap of circles and then come back in half an hour's time and, and reactivate it because it is... A permanent pencil what will happen is it will um, it'll dry and it won't be react reactable it won't reactivate we'll just say that that's you know what I mean so that's why I like to do each individual mark at a time okay so and I'm loose, a loose hand. I'm not making it perfect. I'm holding my pencil up here and I hold my brush high as well so that it is loose and it's not um, perfect. None, nothing else about this page is perfect, so I don't want it to be perfect. All right, so that's where I would, you know, use the loose application, okay? All right, I've been waffling on for an hour now, so I'm going to wrap this up. One thing that I, I don't have on here, so I've created my background, I added my collage elements, I added my stamping and stenciling. Um, I haven't yet added um, a, a title, but now I'm just going to get in here and see how I go with the white pencil, white stabilo, which I haven't used for a while, and I don't know how it's gonna work, so I'm just gonna wing it. Fresh water. Clean brush. Yeah, I think I want to do these not in um, in pencil. I think I want to do them in black pen instead or the Stabilo. But I need to go around and highlight my uh, my leaves on here. Okay, so and give it a bit of a border. So my border I could easily do in my Stabilo just by rubbing my, you know, just on the side like that. Um, so just as I'm doing this girls, um, I will finish, I'll do these little leaves off camera. You don't need to see me do this. Um, and then I'll post a photo up on Facebook, um, when I have finished and put in a link to the products that we have, um, we've used today. So this is a page that has been inspired by the rest of the crafting community. It is, um, the, the stencils are... Designs that I have done. The stamps are Dina Wakeley stamps. You will find those under the Dina Wakeley tab on the website. Um, I have new designs coming in of hers. Uh, I've got them on order. So, um, and if there is anything that you you want, I'm ordering all the time. I only order in stock to suit you guys. So, if there's something in particular that you are after. Let me know. I mean, I could buy all of the things, let's be honest. I could just buy all the pretty things, but I don't know that that's what you, that you want 
to purchase and I don't know that that's what you want to use or that's what you're looking for. So you guys need to also tell me if there's something that I can help you with um, or order in especially for you. And if you, and if you need, you know, if you want something ordered in, just yeah, send me an email, send me a message. I will make the magic happen. Hopefully, get it in for you. Um, I have the be I have the means, people. I know how to. I can. I can make it happen for you. But yeah, if you don't ask, you don't know, right? So um, if there's some other Dina Wakeley stamps that you're chasing, let me know, and I will do that or if you are after some other stencils or something like that just ask me so today's specials will run till about nine tonight um, the no judgment shipping option will not last until nine tonight you will need to watch Facebook today to find out when I'm going to start packing orders um, because I need to make a start this afternoon it'll be after 4 p.m. I'm going to cut off the no judgment, you know, the collating. So simply because um, I have to, you know, I've got about, I've got a lot to do today. So um, I will certainly look after you where I can. But once you think you have finished your shopping and you don't want to put anything else in your cart, just let me know and we can make that happen. Um, so... Other than that, I am going to, I'll bring it up on, on screen so you can have a bit of a look at what we've done. And go from there. So this is in the um, Dina Wakeley, sorry, not Dina Wakeley, the Scrap Effects Junk Journal. It is one of the pages from that. And I really like that. That worked out so much better than I thought it would. Um, but yes, it is in the the junk journal, which we have got on special for today at 15% off. Um, they are all online at nataliemay.com.au. Um, and yeah, they are, I mean, they're, they're quite inexpensive to start with, um, which is, which is great, but you can, you know, you can add pages in yourself as well. Um, and do lots of bits and pieces and if you give me five minutes I will put a photo up of this finished page um, with a link to the products that I have used um, so that you can find them easily uh, and yeah go from there so I hope you're all have a having a fantastic day the Sun is shining where you are and um, yeah how long's it been? Oh, look, I've been a little bit over an hour. That's not too shabby. And I'm going to be popping back here this afternoon. I'm not quite sure what the um, the live is that I'm going to do this afternoon yet. So we will cross that hurdle. I might just do another uh, journal page um, because they're quick and easy. <laughs> I know it's a bit lazy, but um, I could, yeah. I'll have a bit of a look and see what we can do. I might do a scrapbook page using Lindy sprays as well. That might be an option since I haven't cracked those out this weekend. Um, any scrapbookers in the house? Anyone? Any scrapbookers? It is a nice size to work in, Fiona. Um, I'm embracing this a bit more because I have a, a, hit, a, a scrapbooking background. I always I started in the large journals and I found it much easier to do a scrapbook page rather than um, a, you know, sorry, a large art journal page rather than a scrapbook page. So that's why I found it easy to do that. But... In saying that, I'm starting to really embrace this size and I think that um, this might be my personal direction for art journaling. So I think that I really like it. Um, yeah, okay. So 
There we go. I've just added a little scribbly words. We know that what they, you know, they don't really say anything. They're just, just scribbles, but it works for me. And super loose around here. So, okay, so is that a vote for a scrapbook layout this afternoon? What do you reckon? Yeah, all right, let's do that. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to take a photo of this and I'm going to upload it to the page so that you can have a look at it close up and um, then you will be able to, and I'll pop some links in there as well. So clean off some of these paintbrushes, I think, by the looks. All right, guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, wash your hands, kiss your kids, give your husband a snog. Um, and I will chat to you all soon. Thanks for watching.